Hi everybody, my name is Mr McGinty and I'm a teacher at St Rose of Lima Primary School. This is a video for anybody joining Primary 1 in August. Now normally Primary 1s would have a chance to walk around the school before they join, but that might not happen this year, so I'm going to take you on a wee tour. The first room that we come to here is our gym hall. Right now our gym hall has lots of tables in it which wouldn't normally be here, but this is the room that you will normally come to when it's time for your PE or gym. You'll see we've got a basketball hoop at both sides and we've got lots of mats. And this little room here, this is where we keep all of our equipment that you'll use to help you keep fit. We're going to go downstairs now to see what we've got on the bottom floor. You'll see on the stairs we've got some lovely paintings that were done by some pupils in our school. On this floor we have a large area which we call Ziggy Zone. Ziggy Zone is an area which you will all have the chance to go to at different times during the week. In Ziggy Zone, you'll be able to play with lots of different materials and have fun with the other children in your class. You'll see we've got a couple of areas in Ziggy Zone that you can use, like a shop area, a construction area, we've got a house area with a kitchen and a mini living room. You've also got lots of parts where you can be creative. There's some sandboxes, some water boxes. And you'll have lots of opportunities to use the materials in Ziggy Zone to paint or to be creative. We're going to have a look now into one of the primary one classrooms. This classroom has all the chairs in the desk just now to keep them tidy. On the door we have a list of all the months where some of the children have their birthdays. On the walls we've got different things to help us learn and here we've got a chart where children can let their teacher know how they are feeling at different parts of the day. This is the board where your teacher will write things on or stick things to to help with your learning. And over here your teacher might use these cards to let you know what you are going to be learning during the day. Your class will have a library corner which will have some books which you can read. Here are some magnetic boards with letters to help you learn all about your sounds. We've got a sink in the corner. There are lots of materials in these boxes which you can play with to help be creative. There are some computers in the classroom which your teacher might use or you might get the chance to use. You will also have iPads in your class which we will sometimes use to help with your learning and to work in groups. This room here is our caterpillar room, where some children will come to work with Mrs Wilfries. We're going back up to the middle floor now. This is where some of the primary three and four classrooms are. This room here is our dining hall. 
The dining hall is where you will come to eat your lunch every day. If you have a packed lunch, you will come here to eat as well, but sometimes you might get a dinner ticket, which you will use in the dinner school. The dinner school has lots of healthy items which change each day, which you will have for your lunch. You can see some of them in these pictures here. The dining hall is also where you may sometimes come to do your PE if the gym hall is full. And you will also come to the dining hall to have your assembly every week. An assembly is a time when all of the school gets together to listen to either the head teacher or one of the other teachers in the school who will tell you a little bit about what is happening during the week or what will be happening in the weeks ahead. Mr. Carr, or music teacher, will use this piano during assemblies to help you learn some new hymns. We're going to go up the stairs to the top floor of the school now. This is where you will find some of the primary 5 and primary 6 classrooms. This floor is where you will find our big library. This is where you might come to find books for your class to help you with something that you're learning about. This room here is our sensory room. Sometimes children might come to the sensory room if they need a little bit of time to be nice and peaceful. In the sensory room, there are lots of objects to help us keep calm. This room here is our Lingo Lab. Some children might come to the Lingo Lab with Mrs Mackay to help with their learning. There are lots of fun activities in the Lingo Lab for children who are learning how to speak more than one language. You will find lots of different things in this room here. The first thing that we're going to have a look at is what is behind this big blue curtain right here. Behind this blue curtain we have our school oratory. Our oratory is a little bit like a church. It has lots of seats that you will sit on and sometimes the priest from the church might come down to do a mass with us or to say some prayers with us. This room is also where our music teacher, Mr. Carr, will take some children who are learning how to play new instruments. In this room we have got a couple of drum sets, along with lots of other instruments, like keyboards that you can see here, and some guitars, along with other instruments that some children might be learning how to play. This part of the room is our brand new math space. Our teacher Miss Isaac will take some children in here to help them learn all about maths. You can see we've got lots and lots of materials there which children can use to help them with counting or to help them solve problems. We're going to have a look outside now. You see there are some toys here which you might get to take outside of you if it's a nice day. You can see on the ground we've got some circles painted. Each one of these circles has a class name on it. This will be the circle that you go to to get picked up at the end of the day.
There are lots of benches outside, which you can sometimes sit on. And there are lots of areas of the yard where you can go to with your friends to have fun. You can see here there's a couple of fitness points which you can use during your playtime to help you stay active. Up the top of our playground you will find our sensory garden. Our sensory garden is where some children might come to play with lots of different objects during their playtime. We also have this fun outdoor obstacle course which you might get to have a go at. We also have a big pitch. You might come here during lunch sometimes or during PE if it's a nice day. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the school. We are all really looking forward to meeting you in August.